New at 6.30, a new site, first of its kind, uh, technology rather, from the UK is making its way to Hyattsville. Photojournalist Nelson Jones got a first-hand look at the new tools. Today is parking day in the city of Hyattsville. We've claimed public parking spaces to transform into temporary pop-up parks. We've got artists, community members, city and county representatives all claiming parking spots across the city today. The goal of Parking Day overall is to demonstrate the use of public space and how we can engage the public in using some of these spaces that are usually claimed by cars. Uh, and the city today is sharing some information about new communications tools that we have. You can start the conversation uh, and then you can give feedback about all the types of things going on in Hyattsville and what you want to see, uh, what we can do better. I won these free sunglasses. All right. This is our talking zebra. His name is Albert. Uh, if you just scan the QR code or text that code there, he'll talk back to you on text message. Now it has some questions for you. The zebra would like to know if uh, the city of Hyattsville has emergency relief funds and to see if you're eligible, if you are a business or a resident. Uh, yeah. Very responsive. We're using that as a way to engage the public in sharing information with the city about city projects and uh, events. I can see myself using it. It's very uh, user friendly. We're hoping to meet people where they are. Where you don't expect that everybody can make every city council meeting or every public meeting. Uh, so with these text uh, furniture objects, you'll see all around the city popping up uh, trash cans and bike racks and benches that you can interact with and get more information about city projects, give your own feedback. This is new for the city of Hyattsville. Uh, the program is powered by a tool called Hello Lamp Post out of the UK. Uh, we believe we are one of the first in this region to pilot the tool. First of its kind, so we'll see how it works. And the QR codes are set up all throughout the city for anyone who wants to check them out.